Welcome, today's tutorial is on how to use VMware Workstation to install Ubuntu virtually on Windows 7. Now the first thing you have to do is install a copy of VMware Workstation. The current version I believe I have now is 8.0.2, but I think 7 and 8 aren't that much different. I'm not sure about the other ones, I haven't seen those versions. Anyways, first thing you have to do is click create a new virtual machine and a wizard is going to come open and it's going to ask you what type of configuration do you want you're going to click typical and click next now it's going to ask you where do you want to install it from so now if you have the Ubuntu CD you can use that or if you want to burn it you can use that or you can use the ISO file now I am going to use Ubuntu 12.04 the newest installation okay and if you don't have a copy, you can go to ubuntu.com and download it from there. Now you're going to type in your name and then your username. I usually call it Linux. I don't know why. I just have it. And then you can name your virtual machine. I'm going to call it Ubuntu 12.04. And now because I have a solid state drive, I have to allocate the virtual machine to a different hard drive you guys can probably leave it as is Oops. I think a new subdirectory okay now it's gonna ask you the maximum capacity that you want to have for it I'm just gonna use 20 and that's the recommended I'm also going to use it as a single file because if I have multiple files, we get kind of cluttered. And now you have to customize the hardware. Now I'm going to only allocate uh, 1,224. Um, you don't really need that much more. And you can allocate how many cores you want to use. And click finish. Now you're going to click power on this virtual machine. And then it's going to do some weird stuff. It's going to bring up some windows. It's going to look like it's not working, but it actually is. <laughs> you start flashing or something. Don't worry, it is working. a bit to get to this screen and then it is going to install itself on your hard drive now this may take a couple of minutes so I'm going to kind of fast forward through this part I'll just wait till it gets to the main screen so you can see what it's going to look like for a while it's going to stay on this screen it's going to download updates whatnot it'll take a few minutes okay and then the system is going to restart and then lag <laughs> this is typical don't worry about some weird looking stuff I don't have a CD-ROM so I don't really care <laughs> and it's going to install VMware tools and it'll take a few seconds I believe It's just basically a waiting process. It's pretty easy to do, but you gotta wait for the thing to install. It's the only annoying part. Actually, it's going to take a real long time, and then it's finally going to load. <laughs> okay. And then you are going to enter your password.
Okay, and then your desktop is going to load up, and that is it. If you want to run it in full screen, just press that, and it will open up like here. Thank you for watching.